I lost 30 pounds in 60 days using these four things. Watch till the end so you can lose it too. Laid back Mickey here. Hey, I want to talk to you about losing weight. How I lost 30 pounds in 60 days. And the first thing is start slow. If you try to go full force ahead and like hit it like 50 miles on your trike in day one, you're probably going to hurt your, hurt your body and hurt yourself and you probably won't want to do it anymore. So always start slow. The best way to do is, is if you have a trike, maybe it's sitting in your garage and you haven't been riding it, or maybe you're just now getting a trike. Here's the methodology. Just ride around your block, ride around your neighborhood. Get a little loose, right? Start moving your body. Maybe you've been sitting on the couch for a while. <laughs> Maybe you've been sitting behind a desk for decades. Well, what you wanna do is you just wanna get that body moving and flowing again, right? Maybe you used to be an avid cyclist. When I cycled 20 miles in a day, maybe 30 miles if I had a little bit more time, and you would feel it on the back of your calves, you'd, you'd feel it on your fr front quads. But on a trike, we're gonna use our quads, we're gonna use our core a little bit more. Maybe you haven't used those in a while. So you gotta like slowly edge them in. You just can't all of a sudden go, I'm Superman and do it all in a day. It takes a little bit at a time. So you wanna go ahead, start riding around your neighborhood, set a goal, set a, set a point where you're gonna go to. I'm gonna go like three miles out. And then you set a point, that's only a mile and a half, maybe out and then a mile and a half back. So that's three miles. And then you go, I'm gonna go five miles. What's that next point? And then slowly work your way until your body starts feeling comfortable, your, your muscles start going, okay, I know what we're doing. And as those muscles start to build again, right, they haven't been used in a while, they'll go, oh, now I can start taking this muscle and burning off some of that fat that we may have had, right, or that we may still have. I still have a goal, so I'm still losing more, but I lost 30 pounds in 60 days using these four things and let's go on to number two. Number two is food and exercise, right? I'm not saying eat more food <laughs> while you exercise. No, I could do that when I was younger. I, when I was younger, I used to say, hey, I'm gonna ride so I could eat more. And I'd go on a mountain bike ride and I'd get back with my friends and buddies and we, we would all have like the super large pizza. Well, you know what? My metabolism just doesn't burn like that anymore. I can't do that. And so you gotta mix exercise and the food that you eat. There's an app that I like called Noom, and that app kinda uses a little bit of psychology and it uses calorie counting. Basically what it says is like, here's your green foods, here's your yellow foods, and here's your red foods, like the foods you shouldn't be eating a lot of. It doesn't say you gotta cut out everything, but it gives you a guideline to eating healthier. If I could, this is what my diet would be, enchiladas, chips and salsa, and the occasional Doriner Schnitzel hot dog. That was my diet for years, but it's not a good diet, right? And so now my diet is I'll eat uh, a couple eggs in the morning, I'll get some spinach, maybe some tomatoes, and so that is only about 300 calories. And then I keep my lunch to about three to 400 calories, and I'll keep my dinner to about five, 600 calories. I'm eating healthier, and by tracking it, and here's the thing about food, if we can measure it, we acknowledge it, and we can control it more. Step one is, is to go a little at a time and set a goal, a measurement. Same thing with our food. Set measurements and, and track what you're eating. So if you wanna lose weight fast, exercise and eat healthier. That was my key to losing the 30 pounds in the 60 days. So let's go on to step three. If you wanna see more Come and Trek videos, subscribe so you don't miss out. Commitment. Commitment's kind of a hard thing to talk about because we're not always committed or we'd be the perfect Adonis that we wanna be. Well, we're not, okay? <laughs> and there's times when I wasn't committed. We take these last couple years and you know what I was committed to? Having fun, eating cheeseburgers and eating fattening food. I was just not very committed. You don't get where you wanna be by lack of commitment. You get where you wanna be by co being committed to going there. You make a plan and you commit. What am I gonna do and why am I gonna do it? What's the biggest, the bigger purpose behind it? For me, the bigger purpose was 
I want to be around for my grandchildren. I want to be around for my children, right? I want to look better. I want to be healthier. I don't want all the aches and pains. Just saying that isn't enough. You have to commit. You have to take that drive and that purpose of what means something to you and go, I'm going to do something about it. And then you have to make a plan. Once you commit, you got to make a plan. So step four is trikes are great exercise. About four or five years ago, I got a motor on my trike. And because what was happening is my knee was hurting and my back was hurting because I was a downhill skier, I was a mountain biker, and I beat my body up. Well, the problem is, is with beating our body up, we sometimes we need a little bit of help, right? And so on my trike, I got a motor and the motor assists me. So when I start feeling that pain like somewhere in my body, I bump up the power on my motor and that helps assist me, helps get me further, helps me get a better workout. Because the thing is, if you just ride around the block every day, you're not really burning anything. You're not really like working enough to burn those calories off. People go, motors are cheating. If that's all you use and you have a throttle, which 80% of trikes are truly power assist. They don't have throttles like the Bosch and the Shimano motors. They are true power assist, which means it's still you, but you, you need a little extra oomph behind it. And so it will help you go further and it'll help you get better exercise um, because you'll be able to ride longer. Number four is trikes help you go further. And if you even want to go further and get more exercise, get a motor because that's even going to help you more. But hey, if you're not ready for a motor right at the get go, just get going on a trike because you'll be comfortable and you'll ride more just because you are comfortable. So those are the four things that got me riding and got me in 60 days losing 30 pounds. If you like these videos and you wanna learn more about recumbent trikes, go ahead and download our free trike buying guide. It's in the description below.